welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a lunging on the outdoors as well as a nice shower. It is one of those hot and sticky days. Uh, please don't mind me having a hoodie just because I went camping over the previous days and I literally froze to death overnight. So um, I just wanted to avoid a cold and that's why I'm wearing a sweater. So as most of you know, Hazel is a young horse. She is only 8 years old and you will see her being a little bit sassy and showy for the boys in the paddock there. Um, she is definitely still green. We're working on that. Um, but yes, it was her first time outdoor at this establishment now so I just decided I would let her get a feel from the outdoors and everything. But there is a big, big field, big paddock with um, geldings in there. And you can see Hazel's being showy, tail up, and showing all her fanciest moves. So this time, I didn't really have any objectives uh, for Hazel. I just wanted her to be uh, getting used to the outdoors and seeing what's around. Um, she even put herself into a nice gallop a couple times. Um, she is definitely enjoying her time outside. It definitely is uh, way different, there's more distractions and everything, so she was a little bit fresh at the beginning but she calmed down quite a bit and I was able to um, come in and basically give her um, the little vocal commands and try to put her in a nice frame and um, get her to relax a little bit. So this sandy surface area is actually deeper than the one I have indoors. So it's a little bit harder for Hazel to um, actually move around in there um, just because it's actually deeper. But um, as you can see, her canter is actually looking pretty good um, regardless. She is definitely gaining good muscles over the last couple of weeks. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Out of every lunging session, I always try to get Hazel to do some lateral work. Um, sometimes it helps her focus her herself, like her mind, to um, what I'm actually trying to accomplish with her, and it really helps us move forward. And so that's why I'm always trying to do some lateral um, backing up in hand and things like that to keep her focus entertained as well. When you change it up, sometimes it really helps to bring everything together. So as you can see here, Hazel's really focused. She has her nose on the ground and that's exactly what I want her to do. Um, she is moving forward nicely and she's doing all of that without the Pessoa, which is actually really, really good. So generally towards the end of a session, I uh, do some stretching with her, which helps her articulation to uh, basically um, take in the workout. It's a bit the same as like when you go to the gym and you stretch, um, just not to be sore and everything. So I usually do that towards the end and I usually lunge her a little bit or I get her to walk a little bit just to put her body in motion and help with the um, mobility of all the articulations.
since it is pretty hot at that point, we're both actually really hot. Um, I, Hazel found a great uh, spot under the tree there, so we stayed there for a few minutes, allowing her to cool down a little bit. Uh, and then I went actually for a walk after that, just to uh, finish the, the full uh, cool down property. Um, but yeah, she really liked it in there, so I, I let her be, and we both enjoyed this time under the tree. Since I often show you how I, I pack up, I just decided I would do something different and show you how I remove everything and put it away. For the non-equestrian out there, there is definitely a lot of time that is spent with tacking up and untacking, so putting uh, the equipment on and removing the equipment, as well as warming up. And sometimes um, it seems like we're just riding just like that, but usually there's a lot of preparation. Um, that goes into uh, an actual nice ride um, and uh, that's why I'm actually showing you the actual process of removing everything because we also have to put it away. So I make sure to remove every piece of equipment because we're going to go to the shower afterwards. Um, so it's really important to kind of clean the hooves, make sure that they're ready to go into the shower. Um, and like that, it's going to be a much more enjoyable time for me and for her as well. So I'm not sure if I share with you Hazel's love for shower. She really loves and enjoys her time in the shower. Um, and usually when it's actually just a little um, too hot and, or I see that she's sweaty, I'm just going to hold her off and just rinse off the sweat, um, make her feel a little bit cooler. And as you can see, she's not really moving a lot. She's quite enjoying it, other than the flies, of course, <laughs> that she's never really happy with them. So this time around we will do a full bath, so that includes the shampoo and everything. Now we'll be using the Misty Quine um, shampoo bar. I think it's the revitalizing shampoo. It smells really lovely, it smells like a coconut kind of yeah, tropical vibe to it. And um, it comes in a little like soap bar and then you have an actual like exfoliation glove that come with it and then you can just rub it on your horse just as I'm doing right now and it actually lathered pretty pretty good so it, I was quite happy with the experience
So I like to make sure that um, I scrub everything between her mane and her toes, everything in between. So the whole body is going to get a good scrubbing and I get all this dirt out. Her last bath was over a month and a half ago. So you really want to space out the bath. You can't give them a bath every single day. You really have to space them out in order to um, keep the skin moisture level to the right, um, I guess the right level and also make sure you're not drying out their skin or causing damage to the actual hair as well. It is always really important to make sure that your horse is thoroughly rinsed all over their body um, just to make sure that there's no more uh, soap residue that would maybe cause them an irritation, a rash or something, um, something of that sort. So you really want to make sure that it's actually really really well rinsed and one of my little tips and tricks for that is once I think it's actually rinsed properly I go over with the little scraper, the sweat scraper. And if I see some soap coming out of the fur, I go again at certain spots where I know that there's actually soap still again in the in the fur and then I can go over, rinse it again real good and try it again and see if that works. And like that I'm sure there's no soap ready to um, left on her skin. So it was a pretty warm day but there was still a breeze um, out there and so I didn't want her to get a cold and I got the blanket, the Rambo dry rag for her um, that will help speed up the drying process. So your horse is going to get usually um, dry within 10 minutes um, of wearing it. So I'll probably put a link on the top uh, for this as I made a video about this blanket if you want to learn more about the specificity of the blanket and how it helps and everything. Um, like that you'll know a little bit more about this uh, nice blanket that both Hazel and I really really enjoy. After a nice exercise session and a nice bath, what's better than a nice treat? So we've got the nice uh, llama, I think it's no drama llama collection from the Northern Equestrian Co. I will put my promotion code right here for you guys to um, order from their website and enjoy their products. Hazel really loves these cookies. She would chase me around for, for, uh, for a nice bite, so she loves them. As you can see, she's quite happy. The 
thank you for joining me and Hazel for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed our little session outdoors. I can't wait to see you guys um, for the next vlog. In the meantime, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, share, and comment. And I'll see you guys very soon.